I think a typical fencer looks nerdy, predominantly Caucasian. So I think I'm on the complete opposite spectrum of what a fencer looks like, acts like, and is in person. I'm Austin Watson, I'm a two-time Olympian and world champion. As a troubled nine and a half year old, I had to do a lot of extracurricular activities that was offered in my middle school. So when I first picked up a foil, which is what they like to call a sword, and I just immediately fell in love with it. I didn't think it would take me this far, but uh, I've been rolling with it ever since. People should know that fencing is, it's a combat sport. They think it's super fluffy and all this, but no, it's really intimate. You can literally hear them breathing, you can see their eyes. You can really see if someone's scared, if someone has no emotions. And that's so cool about the sport is you can really gauge your opponent emotionally, which I don't think you can in many sports. Well, I think the fencing community, they've embraced me, but then you have people obviously who are older, who want to see the sport the same. People have always said, like, you won't win this competition, you won't make a national team, you won't ever, you know, make an Olympic team, you know, you won't be a world champion. I'm gonna win, just make you easier work. Hate as your motivators, it just comes with territory. The first time I ever qualified for the Olympics, it's just the most incredible feeling because all that hard work pays off because 0.11% of the population goes to the Olympics. I think being an outsider, just you have more drive than everyone else because you want to prove people wrong. <laughs>